Greetings, friends and strangers alike. Welcome, one and all. I am your friendly Woodland Elf, and welcome back to Nino Kuni. In the last episode, we finished up in the deep dark woods. We defeated the forest guardian, which was going a bit crazy. We beat some sense into him, calmed him down. And we were rewarded with our locket here. That we then used to gain entry to this here city of Ding Dong Dell. We did so by curing the guard's broken heartedness. It's a weird mechanic in this game where you siphon bits of people's hearts if they have something in excess and give it to those who are lacking and it makes them all better again. <laughs> weird, I know. But that's how it is. So we gained that entrance to this very cute little medieval town. And I believe what we were doing is getting ourselves a new outfit because people started staring at our street threads. We're not exactly blending in with the locals. So I think we had to just sort of do some errands around town or something to give this lady time to make our clothes. And we did that. Hoo-hoo, there you are, dearie. You'd be happy to hear your clothes are ready. Tidy. Best try them on in there, but Ollie boy. Yeah. Wait there, I shan't be a moment. Oh boy, let's see what we look like. What do you think? Huh? <laughs> oh, <this is> <laughs> you look proper sharp, Ollie boy. Uh, yes. Is it a little goof here? I mean, a cape? Yeah. Hooch you down to the ground. Thanks for that pun. <sighs> How much do we owe you? No, she has to pay us to wear, wear this around town. Are you kidding? That's not that bad. Can't remember the last time I did any sewing. It was an absolute hoot deal. I think nothing of it. Can buy a little something from time to time. I don't even know what this place sells, actually. I think it's just a an item store, I think. Set of traveler's clothes. Yes, yeah, sweet cape. Now you got some dapper duds. We can end up to the palace, tidy. Oh, right, we came to meet the king, but uh, we couldn't go talking to the king in our peasant outfit. No, 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 we need to wear a cape. And we've got a sweet, like, it looks like a scroll tube, but it's I think it's a holder for our wand, which is pretty cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, what do you sell? Ah, oh, yeah, it's just an item store. Some white bread, some iced coffee, poison be gone, blindness be gone. Yeah, and we sell treats. And some ingredients, which we don't know what these things do yet. I'm sure we'll uh, do something with them later on. Awesome. I will be seeing you soon. <laughs> All right, later. <laughs> All right, let's go see the king. Oh, what are we carrying in our scroll tube? It looks like we're actually carrying a scroll as well as our wand. I don't know what that is. Right, let's go into the town proper. Oh, we hit the town square. Look at this. Look at this big castle. It's awesome. Alright, any loot? Oh-ho! The poison be gone. Hooray! Hey, lady. I don't know what's come over me lately. I'm just full of doom and gloom. Yeah, I was talking to a lot of people off screen, and a lot of people are saying that. They're full of doom and gloom and stuff. What well, does this guy who's actually quite happy about the day? Oh no, I've left the washing out. I'll go get it. Hello, sir. Folks around here tell their children the king of the Ma king of the mice lives down in Ding Dong Well. It's only a story that I thought alone is enough to listen if shiver might not must might. Why? It's just a mouse. Although actually, you know what? I'm not scared of mice, but I I once tried to catch one that was in our house, and when it came running like towards me, because I kept like sh uh, blocking it off. <gasps> oh, a red earring! Ooh, that's part of a side quest I uh I started. We'll do that later. I think there's like a there's like a cat folk lady that lost an earring or something. Speaking of cat folk. The tug of tail turning is starting soon. I'm gonna start practicing. 
People say they've heard voices coming from that big gravestone thing. I don't believe them. There's no such thing as ghosts, is there? Absolutely not. You're right. So yeah, I was once trying to catch a mouse. Uh, it was in our kitchen. It was running around on the countertops. And I kept blocking its its progress, trying to just sort of corner it. And then it ran towards me and I, uh, I kind of freaked out a little bit. That's the story. It's not that uh, exciting, I know. You should probably have a look inside him every now and again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Telling me about the loot we've been finding all over the place. It's sweet. Loaf of white bread. Hello. Can I come in here? The grave of the sage is down this way. The grave of the sage? School is so much fun. My father works in King Tom's Palace. He's the one wearing the helmet. <laughs> You mean like a guard? They all wear helmets. Oh, oh, this is this kid's also part of a side quest. You know, what? I want to do the side quest uh, a little bit later. Yeah, there's there's like a mother who like asked me to go find her kids, and that's one of them. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I want to do that a little bit later. A slice of pie. So we'll be coming back to find this kid for sure. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, your hair's green like the British ghost girl. Are you also a ghost? Oh, apparently he's mute. What's up with you, man? Look a bit pale, you do. You giving this to me? A new spell. Spirit medium. Commune with the spirits of the departed. Oh. Oh, is it? Yeah, maybe this kid actually, this guy actually is a ghost. What's that little squirt doing with it? Do you think you can't speak? Put two and two together, Oliver. Two and two. Put them together. You're getting six right now, bud. Did you figure something out, Mr. Dripper? The spell he just gave you. Oh, it's... Oliver, you're so dumb. I know he's a child, but... <laughs> Alright, spirit medium. Oh, this costs five MP to do it? God. Right, fine. Thank goodness, it worked. Jeepers creepers, you can talk? Of course I can talk silly. You cast spirit medium on me, didn't you? Oh, that's what it does. <laughs> Means some you cast a spell without knowing what it did. What kind of wizard are you? <laughs> no, the kid's got sass. Let you speak to the spooky spirits of the dead, like me. You are a flipping ghost, innit? A g g ghost Alright, shaggy. Ghosts really exist. Of course they do. Wizards see them all the time. I was a wizard too, once you know. But thanks to that idiot, the Dark Jinn, there aren't too many wizards left. When I saw you, I thought I'd better hand that page over. You're the first wizard I've seen in I don't know how long. Can I really keep it, mister? At least I can do it to say thanks for looking after my book. Your, wait. Wait, what? That's our book, that is. Yeah, what, what? That wizard's companion is this, kids? I, I thought, but, ah. Uh, well, I don't know what's going on. I do know there's a fish in there. Look at those fish in that pond. I'm getting distracted. Normally better the Sage of Ages. This kid was a sage? Aren't they like the biggest and baddest of the wizards? Well, not baddest, but, you know. He's not even looking at Drippy while he's sassing him. <laughs> I'm a fairy, innit? I'm supposed to be this size. <laughs> and you're on a journey in our world. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll go on a little journey myself. I haven't really taken a round look around our world for a long time. Headed south to the desert. Hope we'll meet again when at the town down there. See you soon. Bye, right, Horace. Bye. Thanks for that spell. We're, uh... We're surprisingly okay having just talked to a literal ghost. Hopefully we'll run across him again later. Alright, let's, uh... Stop fooling around. And go talk to the king. I received a letter summoning you from audience of King Tom, so I do if we made the journey all the way here from the far side of the kingdom. I say he doesn't want to see anyone, but I'm going to... Oh, can I come in here? Damn it. Everyone in the palace is busy trying to find the king's red herring. <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> Welcome to Ding Dong Dell. This is the road that leads to the royal palace. You're the travellers that take it? You must be in those clothes. You're the one wearing a cat helmet, dude. To know any King Tom, are you? I'm more than happy to let you through, but I'm afraid it's just not possible. Why? One of the king's hapless aides has allowed his majesty's beloved pet fish to escape into the palace moat. A red herring. <laughs> it's funny. 
Without his meow, just he'll be able to replace this one if we were to lose it. All right. All right, yeah, let's go find it. Yeah, let's go find a red herring. God damn it. Oh, the star's pointing me there. I could turn that off. There was an option to do that. Settings? Yeah, we could turn the guiding star off. We might do that. If we feel the game is pulling us by the nose a little bit. All right, let's go. Oh, this is the this is the girl that wanted the earring. And I'll just do this now. Screw it. I was going to do the side quest later, but I've literally ran across her now, so let's do it. Just perfect. You found it for me. Yeah, don't lose it, dumbass. Here's a present. A leafy mantle and 50 guilders. Hell yeah. And two stamps. Yeah, we got two merit stamps. Awesome. Side quest complete. Alright, where are we going here? Game's telling me to go up here. Aha! A pond! That's where I'd find a fish. Oh, speaking of. You guys see that? See that red thing above by there? Uh. <laughs> Oliver, you, he's so dumb. He's... I know he's a child, but come on, Oliver. <laughs> Get with the program. Let's take a closer look. What's going to do it? Freddy the Fish Inspector? Oh, man, Freddy the Fish Inspector's here, dude. <laughs> right, let's try. Jump on these bits of wood. I don't know how we're going to get this fish by doing this, bud. Oh, he's having none of it. He knows we're onto him. He's like, shit the fuzz. Yeah, because he got away. Sorry. Right. He's alive, the one I think he went over towards the palace. After him. All right, let's go. <laughs> so silly. We have to go back to the palace. Oh, wrong way. All right, let's see where we're being told to go now. Oh, do we have to go back? Oh, uh, I think we were supposed to go. Oh, are you okay, bud? <laughs> nice, nice mustache. Uh, this is a statue of King Sam's heroic ancestors. Oh, that statue? It's a big cat, man. Big fat cat. Get it? Because he's rich. He's a fat cat. Oh, all right. Now we're done sneezing up a storm. Ha ha! You got yourself stuck, did you? Oh, man. Look how deep this goes. How did the fish end up, like, flopping around here? Dumbass. We got it. Got to put it in, like, a bowl of water or something so it doesn't die. <laughs> Oliver, you fool. I don't know how long fish can survive out of water, but I don't think it's long. Then we can get ourselves an with the king. Let's head back and see that palace guard, shall we? Let's go! <laughs> that drip is carrying the fish! Why do I have to carry this flipping flapping thing anyway? I mean, you... I was carrying it. You... It looks like you volunteered there, dripper. Also, that fish is more pink than red, just saying. All right, we found your red herring. Hopefully it's not a red herring. <laughs> I haven't located at King Tom's pet yet. Uh, do you want to cast your eyes around uh, 45 degrees downward to the left? This one. <laughs> it's like, oh! It didn't even pay Drippy any attention. Goodness, I'd know the regal scarlet tones of the King's beloved red herring anyway. Well, I'll be. Just to swim out through the sewers into town, like. How did... A person lose a fish. I have to assume it's some sort, of, some sort of tank or perhaps an indoor pond. We need to see the king with, with him in his current state. Uh-oh, what's wrong with him? Did I mention the person charged with king's red herring just let it escape? You did. Everyone in the Paris has grown, grown terribly lax of late. So lax that we need to enlist the help of passing travellers as you're only to... Oh my god, I can't speak. Probably shouldn't be telling you this, but the king himself has been has been indolence personified. Indolence? I've never heard that word before. Seems to be rubbing off on his subjects. Am I laziness? Oh, okay, well there we go. All he knows. Perhaps being weaned out with his blubbered red herring will give him the boost he needs. Hey! So the king's just lethargic and, and lazy. He's a lazy fat cat. 
pleasure to meet you, you and me, Algisty. He's literally a fat cat. You who delivered one's treasure back to one. Hmm? Do close your legs, please. Yes, you and me, Algisty. Hmm. And you wish for a prize, hmm? Um... Go on, man. Ask him. Uh... Come now, don't be shy. <laughs> well, you and me, Algisty... Out with it now! We need your wand. <sighs> One's wand. Man. Huh? What did you say? Uh oh. Oh shit. He's so big. Uh. Do you like the smell of my new cape? That smell. Right, you will be Algisty. He's not from our world. He's the one whose power freed me from my prison. What? You mean he broke his spell? <gasps> this little boy? Yes. Do you understand what you're saying, Fairy? Once you defy him, there's no turning back. I know, I know, I know, but... But what precisely? Well, you know, he might be able to... It's not <laughs> its concern. <sighs> you may not have the wand. Now be gone. That's me every single day of my life. Just Look puff myself up to get on with the day and then just go. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Excellent. So how do we get the wand now? It's a good job that uh Doing things is just its own reward, huh? We don't actually need a reward. Something wasn't quite right about our royal friend. Broken hearted he is, or I'm broken headed. What? You seem like a regular old lazy king to me. <laughs> what are you talking about, Jeff? The king is? Lacking enthusiasm, it looked like. <laughs> well, yeah, you're not wrong, <laughs> actually. And because he's broken hearted, the whole kingdom's being dragged down with him. It was a lot different to that other guy who was broken hearted though, right? The other guy literally couldn't speak and was just standing there going, uh, uh. <laughs> Whereas the king actually seems fairly active when he what wants to be. What are we waiting for? Let's go find the piece of heart he's missing. Yeah, let's do it. Blimey, you don't need much encouragement, do you? God, it's had a time with short and enthusiasm too, huh? Indeed he was, Ollie boy. Like I say, I reckon the king's broken heartedness is dragging everyone else down with him. That would explain all the townsfolk saying how they're feeling lazy as fuck right now. <laughs> the other guard gave us some of the news he was to help his friend. We should ask him for some more. Yeah, uh oh, no, 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 doing that. Very important rule about broiling pieces of people of hearts. What's that? Can't go taking the same piece of heart from the same person twice. One scoop on the top is all it's safe to borrow. Yeah, yeah. That sounds about right, doesn't it? We troll the town for someone else with the get up and go up, how winter. It's a sleepy old place that's bound to be someone somewhere. And the problem is where? Ding Dong Dell's not exactly village size after all. You might even say it's proper massive. Ah, uh, it's a decent sized town. What are you talking about? It kind of is, huh? In something of a quandary, are we? Whoa! Oh, it's this guy! Hey! Hi, Mr. Tellingstone. You seem perplexed, my young friends. I thought you might benefit from a dose of my expansive knowledge. Ah, it's real nice of you. We wanted to borrow a piece of someone's heart, but we don't know how to find one. Hmm, elementary, my dear Oliver. All right, Sherlock. In times like these, just look to your locket. What do you mean? What? Well, not only can it carry pieces of heart, the locket is also extremely sensitive to the proximity. It will glow when we are nearby. Tidy, so we can use it to track down some enthusiasm then, innit? Awesome! A bit of glowing bright light. It glows green when we're near people. Okay, gotcha. Incidentally, those with pieces of heart to spare will also glow a verdant green on the minimap in the top right of your screen. Neato! It will not serve to tell you which of the virtues a subject has in excess, but you should still prove exceeding useful to you nonetheless. Thanks, Mr. Tellingstone! Sally forth and seek ye your piece of heart, young adventurer. Thanks. You may consider me wholly at your service. Farewell for now, friends. Whoop! Yeah, he just shoots small again and goes into my pocket. 
Let's have a look around for someone with a drop and fuse has to spare, shall we? I feel like it glows all of a sudden. We're not on the right track. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Excellent. All right, let's find someone. Someone who's glows green on the minimap. It says your locket will glow when you're near them too, but, I mean, you can just look at the minimap. <laughs> Hello. Alright, where are we going? Where are we going? We're going this way. Oh, look at that lady up there, just chilling on a balcony. Oh, this glowing blue icon is someone who you're doing a side quest for. I've picked it up, but I'm not going to do it right now. I think she's asking me to find some bottles of water and some flowers, which I believe I have to go out onto the world map to find. But like I said, I want to do this, put the side quests off just a little bit for now. I want to do the main thing that we're doing here in the city. Oh! Oh, Mr. Drippy, the locket, it's glowing. Tidy, and there's someone around here with a piece of heart to spare, isn't it? Uh, but who? Oh, uh, okay. Is it this kid? He doesn't look that enthusiastic. The only person around my here is him. Look at him, man. He can barely stand still. He's so eager. Uh, I mean, he's standing guard. <laughs> I won't say he's enthusiastic. He's probably more courage, right? I do, my lad. Bet my lantern on it. Let's go and get it, shall we? Yeah, let's get him! Let's go get this kid. Hello. <laughs> oh, do, saucepan head. Well, I suppose you fancy doing us a favour, do you? Hey, just stop, stop, stop distracting me. I'm busy. Uh, busy? What are you busy doing, exactly? Protecting the town from mice, of course. My oh, yeah, I remember hearing about the mice who lived in Ding Dong Dell. Those mice are a menace. They're always running around, getting up to no good. But the grown-ups are too lazy to do anything about it. Most of them hardly notice when the mice steal things. And no, and the ones that do not seem to care. Well, Tommy Stout is not going to stand for it. I know the mice all live down in the well, so I'm standing guard here. Any mouse that comes this way is in for a battering. And with that broom of yours? How big mice are we talking here? Like standard size mice? Or are we talking like ROUSs? <laughs> That's rodent of unusual size. Well, well, we were right about this one. He's bursting with enthusiasm. Over to you, Olibo. Oliboy. What were you talking about? King Tom seems to be really sorting enthusiasm right now. And that's where you come in, Tommy boy. You've got loads of the stuff. We gave some to the King Tom. The whole town will sort itself out quick sharp. Yeah, so, so we're wondering if you could share some of your enthusiasm with us. Uh, of course, I'll do anything to help the king. Thanks, Tommy. Now let's take this child's heart. Oh, no, not give. Take. Kalima! Yeah. More of that fiery red enthusiasm. Can't wait to see what the other seven pieces are. I know a couple of them, because like I say, I've seen a little bit further into the game than I am right now, but I, I, don't, I legitimately don't know what all eight pieces are. I haven't gotten that far into the game, I suppose. Wow, that was strange. Well, now I know what magic feels like. Yes, it was magic. I just took your heart, kid. Plunged my fist deep into your chest and took it. <laughs> like I was wearing a shield on his... Or it looks like a shield, at least. Like, strapped a shield to his chest for armor. Kid's smart, man. I mean, yeah, he's wearing a saucepan on his head, but... Well, it's not really a saucepan. That's, well... I don't know what that... Whatever. But, you know, we're splitting hairs. <clears throat> aren't used to spells, Ollie boy. They don't know what it, don't know what to make of it half the time. So does this mean King Tom's going to be all right now, Oliver? Yeah. Once King's back to normal, everyone else will start feeling better too. That's right, man. Your enthusiasm is going to put a spring in everyone's step, innit? That's great to hear. Until then, though, I better stay here and keep an eye out for mice. All right, it's later, Tommy. Can I go past you? Oh, I can. Oh, yeah, I came down here before. That place is locked. Looks like we might be having a sewer level later in the game. Hopefully not. Everyone loves those sewer levels, don't they? Let's go back to the palace. We got some of this little kid's enthusiasm. We're going to give it to the big fat cat. And he's going to feel right as rain. Or just like a normal king, I suppose, and continue to be lazy and... <laughs> you know, all that. Also, this that guy said this this statue is an 
ancestor of the king? No, it looks exactly like the king. That is literally wearing the same clothes and everything. What are you talking about, ancestor? Unless they pass down clothes? Uh, I don't know why they'd hand me down some clothes from king to king. They're rich enough to afford new ones. We're splitting hairs again. This is a heck of a throne room, by the way. Holy crap. We've got Sweet Pond in here. I wonder if this is where the red herring hangs out. It'd be cool if you could see it just swimming around in here. Mm -hmm. yeah, you again. One is becoming rather tired of these constant interruptions. So sorry, I mean, I just uh, it's just we have something for you. Yeah, we picked it out especially for you. Can't face it. It'll get rid of that tiredness of yours in no time. Give you a new lease of life, it will. Strong teeth, glossy fur. I'm not dripping, shut the fuck up. Yeah, that sounds just the ticket. This accursed fatigue will be the death of one. Dealing with all these visitors has taken its toll. Hey, he's King Tom the 14th, by the way. There's been 13 of this guy before. Not to worry, I mean, I just have a little bit of enthusiasm of all you need, innit? Give heart. I like how we don't even need the spell for that. Just hold it open and it'll find someone who needs the heart, apparently. <laughs> so, do you think it worked? Let's see, shall we? Hmm. <laughs> what the devil was one up to? Your meow, Justy, <laughs> please tell us you're back to your old self. Yeah? Why, one is ten times more energetic than one has <laughs> ever been. But one feels different somehow. This is your doing, is it not? Then you must be rewarded. Your Meow Justy, it seems that these brave adventurers have lifted the curse that was placed upon you. But what? Is I don't think true? you get to decide, Mr. Guardman. Yes, your Meow Justy. It appears that you were cursed with a lack of enthusiasm. Hey, same. That's so. One certainly didn't feel oneself for a while there. It seems one's been your death. Nice. Give me a wand, fat man. What would you claim as your prize? Mm. Tidy, you know what task for, ain't it, Ollie boy? Oh sure. Uh, we uh, we need a magic magic wand, your Majesty. Is that so? Strangely, one feels as if one has had this conversation before. You've been cursed with like memory loss too. No one thinks of it. There is a wand one prized very highly as a kitten. Hidden away safely in one's bedchamber. There is, and? Then one would be willing to part with it. But one will have to find it first. Return later on, and one shall present it to you. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. So, boy, if you are in search of a wand, can one take it that you are perhaps a wizard? No, I'm a warlock. I get my power from my fairy friend here. <laughs> Indeed, here's your Majesty, shiny new apprentice wizard, who doesn't exactly know much magic yet. <clears> hmm, <throat> is that so? Then let one provide you with a spell or two. One's wand will be of little use if that spells to cast, after all. Oh boy, more spells! What we're gonna get? Spring lock. Hey, that sounds like a spell to unlock chests that we can't unlock normally. Rejuvenate. Turns black the clocks to uh, and returns an object to its former glory. Hey, that sounds useful. No, <laughs> you must enjoy the spells that inspired one so much in one's younger days. One that unlocks things and one that restores things back to the former glory. Yeah, what do you used to get up to with your these, your Majesty? No, none of your business, fairy. Now, boy, you travel with a familiar, do you not? One has sent word to the quartermaster store down in the town that you are to be given permission to shop there. What kind of place is that, your majesty? Are you sure you're an adventurer? One cannot help but fear for the safety of such an innocent. No matter. Wow, nice king. Weapons and equipment, hell yeah. Alright, so he's basically telling us to go find the weapons and armor store and then come back here. Awesome. 
Let's go do that. Go browse the quartermaster. <laughs> oh boy. If you don't like puns, this game is not for you. <laughs> but I love puns. Love them. So this game is absolutely for me. Right, I think the quartermaster... Sorry, the quartermaster store. I think it's like real close. I guess I'm wrong. It's not that place. That's the hootique. It sells like items and stuff. Oh, here it is. This big place that looks like a giant bird. Hey, Drippy, this thing's also got a lantern on its nose. Are you brothers? Brother! Oh, hey. Here's another one of the uh, the kids we have to find for the later. <laughs> Is that a fucking sea mine? Oh, no, it's just a really big flail. Morning star flail. Okay. Any oh, hey, hey, hey. I see some loot. A Sunday. Awesome. All right, I don't actually know if I want to buy anything from this guy right now, but we have to check him out. Which is part of this tutorial. Car, it's you. And you are just to inform me you'll be coming. You instruct me to sell you whatever you require, and I'm more than happy to cooperate. So have a rock around. I'm sure you'll find something here with your, equip your familiars. And tutorial about equipping familiars. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Cool. 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 And we, yeah, we literally just uh, have to talk to this guy when we head back to the palace. Let's have a look. Wooden sword. A well-worn sword. Kitchen knife. Sharpened stick. Ooh, Mighty can't use that. That's for a different familiar, I suppose. We can't use the spiral horn, either. Oh, wow, we can't actually have any of this, either. Hey, Leafy Mantle, we got one of those for a quest. That's nice. Oh, we can use the shield, though. Cool. And we got a giant's tooth, plus one attack. Oliver can wear that, but why would I want to give plus one attack to Oliver? And this guy says he's raven mad. Awesome. All right, we'll, uh, we'll look at buying some items and uh, some weapons and equipment <clears throat> a little later on. We don't actually have that much money. 200 gold? I wasn't looking too closely at the prices there, so I don't know how much that... Uh, don't know how far we'll get with that. All right, let's go, go, go. Dude, nice mustache. Let's go get me a wand. Uh-oh. So oh, the king's not here and this guard's looking around all worried. <sighs> it's not going to be that easy, is it? Oh, what now? Oh, it's you. Thank goodness you have to help us. Something terrible has happened. Flipping egg, man. Don't tell me old King's Tom gone and got his heart broken again. <laughs> oh yeah, what's what's the cooldown on that? Is it like D and D? If you if you pass like a save, you're immune for twenty four hours. <laughs> no, no, His Majesty's heart is in good working order, as far as I know. <laughs> what? After he restored Your Majesty's missing enthusiasm, he was determined to find his old one so that he could give it to you by way of reward. Yes, we were here <laughs> five minutes ago. So determined, in fact, he said he was going to look for it himself. Uh, yeah, what's, what's the problem? His majesty has disappeared. Huh? It's been like five minutes. How can, he dis how can a king disappear in a palace full of servants? The gatekeeper swear he hasn't left Ding Dong down, yet he's nowhere to be found. I smell a rat by you, Ollie boy. I suppose there's only one thing for it, eh? What's that, Mr. Dripper? Spot of investigating, innit? Right, so I'll helmet face you and your mates keep an eye on the castle. We're going to look for clues. Where do we look, Mr. Dripper? He's also floating. You notice that? You're floating, Dripper. You know the place. You know it very well, in fact. Come on, I'll take him all over outside. Okay. Where are we going, Mr. Dripper? What's this about somewhere I know real well? Where do you think, Clever Clogs? Motorville! What? Yeah, what, what, what's Motorville got to do with this? Answering who was going to go over by here, Ollie boy. What does that mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's from the whole soulmate thing, innit? What we see here is a world in... What, what we see in this world in always the whole picture. Soulmates, okay. Think about it, Ollie boy. Why are you here in our world? To save my mom, yeah. And your mom is a great sage, you see a soulmate, right? Well, just as far as you say, we don't know that for sure. We're trying to free Elise here from the soul snail over by here so we can help your mom back over by there, innit? 
I hope you guys like how this guy talks. <laughs> it wasn't Fibbins. People in your world man were connected. All people. Someone over in your world is connected by to King Tambai here. Who do we think it is, ladies and gentlemen? Someone in my world is King Tom's told me. Maybe not a person. Yep. Shopkeeper's cat. Yep, Timmy told him the cat. <laughs> Oliver's too dumb to understand this magic shenanigans. He's just spitting the first time of the cat. Oh, I did. Miss Layla's cat. Better late than never. This is just a cat. The similarity is somewhere, so I'd keep enough in mind. A peeled eye. Can we stop talking, no dripper, please? For the love of God, I'm trying to end the episode here, bud. Christ. <laughs> Magic up gateway. Let's get over to your world, shall we? Yep, I do remember him. All right. Oh, man. Drippy, that was a long conversation. That was a long walk for a small sip of water, bud, gotta say. But that is going to be the end of today's episode. Next time, we're going to head back to America to find out what happened to the king, the, the cat king in this world. Makes sense? Good. We'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>